So I'm now standing on the hill um, behind Life Sciences, so the building is in front of me and the library is over there. In front of the library you can see the remnants of the wildflower areas that have been allowed to grow over the summer. And they've been planted with silver birch, but also with a group of home oak. These are an evergreen Mediterranean species. They don't have the traditional oak leaves, but they do form acorns later on in the year, which means that during the late autumn, we have the acorn-loving birds visiting, such as magpies and hopefully jays, which are Britain's most beautiful bird, in my opinion, anyway. I'm standing next to a set of silver birch trees, much more mature ones on this side, and in late autumn, when it's been wet, this is a great time to see fungi with a huge diversity on campus. There is a, the red mushroom with white spots, the fly agaric, is uh, like a symbiont. It's, it's keyed in to this particular species, the, the silver birch. But behind me, on the other side of the road, you can see the gum trees, eucalyptus, and they've transferred to those. So you get a lovely crop of these bright red mushrooms with yet white spots growing off the roots and, the, and the, this area under the eucalypts. So good things to look under. And when you see them, you can actually start telling stories because it's kind of, you've got the beautiful way of juxtapos juxtaposing these fungi alongside the day-to-day -day life of the university with the buildings and the roads and the buses and so on in the background. So think about maybe telling stories with some of the images that you take, not just take them for the species, although that's a good thing to do as well.